38th and Chicago has become synonymous with marches, protests, and vigils taking place in the country. It was at that intersection in South Minneapolis where George Floyd died while in police custody two weeks ago today. WEAU's Jesse Horn visited the intersection during the weekend and shares the images and reflections from this crossroads. Carly Kemmerer spent Saturday keeping people refreshed. The 2014 UW Eau Claire grad has been working to open her new nonprofit coffee shop. Now, across the street from history. It's kind of shocking, but it's not if you're paying attention. I mean, there's been a lot of unjust situations, and then there's protesting and anger, and then it kind of dies back down. And I think this was just sort of what woke a lot of people up to the reality. The reality struck May 25th when George Floyd died while lying on the road in police custody. Four former Minneapolis police officers are now charged in his death. Since that moment, this intersection has brought many on a search for answers they stand together for during a turbulent time. East 38th Street in Chicago Avenue in South Minneapolis has sparked much violence across the country for the past two weeks. But on this day, it might be the one spot in the nation that's seeing the most love and compassion. The compassion was brought here by people like Pastor Edwin Williams of Sanctuary Covenant Church. This will be the watershed moment. Um, our officials have to actually make some steps to make sure we don't keep coming back to moments like this. The moment of May 25th has gripped the nation and has garnered worldwide attention. It has also reminded people in the Chippewa Valley the story is closer than they might think. You know, bombing at Birmingham, I have a dream. And these are all historic, huge events that people remember, um, but this could be one of them. I mean, people might remember someday what happened at 38th in Chicago. They might remember the name of George Floyd, and then finally something changed. The images at East 38th in Chicago are left in words and in song. What do you want? Justice. And when do you want it? Now. But at a time when social distancing had been preached to us, this was a moment when an embrace can help heal open wounds. I did need that. I really did. It meant the world to me. And I promised him I will be a voice. I'm only a small voice, but there's more voices. And together we can do this. Now East 38th in Chicago has become a moment in time for voices to be heard. The goal now is to listen and decide which path a nation will take. In South Minneapolis, Jesse Horn, WEAU 13 News.